Looks like we're finally going to get it rolling right here. Do we have things to talk about? Do we have a stream? We have yes, a match. Sure, we do. Woo! Oh boy! All Zero right. to none. This is a player. I mean, I do not frequent Stargate, so this is a player I have not casted in like years. It feels. Uh. If I'm being honest. Mega, of course, I've seen, like, plenty more. Like, I remember, like, watching this kid on his come-up back in the day, you know? Yeah, definitely shout-outs to him. We're rocking PS2 as we are to default start with. How do you feel about this stage in this particular matchup? I'm not... Because the first thing that comes to mind is I'm not sure if it's the best stage for Ike, but I could be wrong. Yeah, at this I, matchup, I mean. Yeah, since Zelda has a lot more space to work with, and, um, yeah, since Zelda has a lot more space to work with, and Ike obviously doesn't have projectiles, it's just... Yeah, uh, Ike can somewhat take advantage of the fact that there is a lot of room for him to work with. Well, both of them, actually. But I feel like Zelda, because she's just a she's able to zone, as obviously she just has more. She has more options. Yeah, you know, it's just the platforms can kind of create like a no-fly zone depending on like how high they are and like where they're necessarily positioned, right? Like, like you mentioned, against a character with no projectiles, it can certainly be pretty hard. Is that raw down air off the no off the no ground attack? Because you can't, because it's ultimate right off of the top. What a beautiful kill confirmed by Mega and a pretty ballsy one at that. Forward smash, not killing either. Immaculate DI actually side being quick drawing all the way to the other side of the stage as well. This is going to be important against a character like Zelda. Like, how much insurance can you get on this character before she resets neutral, and then all of a sudden, like, you have to play her game again, you know? Yeah, that... It's that, and how true can your combos be before she, uh, before she uses Nehru's love? Yeah, you know, not to mention the fact that she's just, like, floaty as well. Like, Zelda has always been, like, a bit of a noob killer. Like, like, you know, newer, like, lower-level players, they don't know what to do about Knight, you know, like, the awkward weight and whatnot. Like, she's a bit of a matchup check, because she's, like, such an uncommon character, and she's... Not as good as we all thought she was at the very beginning of Ultimate's meta many years ago. Yeah. Even though she's still probably better than, like, she's ever been in any Smash game, which is funny enough. But, uh, yeah, you know, lesson learned, you know. Now we got Mega attacking on as much insurance as possible. 92% to the unanswered zero, and just as I say that, double up tilt into the up air. Third one got blocked, though. Oh. Uh, I thought that up tilt was gonna- no, that up air was gonna connect. Yeah, no way. Not with how sticky platforms are in Ultimate. Like, he was landing on that- he was landing on that ish way after the second up tilt. Uh, there you go! Ikes can approach women! <laughs> very nice! Very nice! Good on Mega. No, really good on him to, like, approach with that move as well. I mean, that's pretty much Ike's like, quickest attack. Like, by far is his back air, I assume. I think up- up air might be as fast as- cause that- because up airs tend to be the fa uh, the faster move for sword characters. And they tend to be the faster move for sword characters, but I'm not sure how Yo true that is. Yo, he got red into the next dimension, bro. You just wrap that up in a body bag. That's a quick, quick two-stock right there on the part of Mega. Let me fix that up. Yo, it... It was here to none. Exploded. He, he did. I, I, don't know what you, I don't know what you want me to say. He exploded. Another downside of Zelda is that she is a relatively light character, I suppose, so once you are actually able to finally break her zone and get in, assuming you're a character with enough, you know, you know, enough frame to... data and, or a player with enough discipline to be able to, like, break Zelda's zone and just not let her play the game if you're playing the matchup properly, and Mega's been around the block, like, you know, like, he knows his stuff, he's been around for a real long time. I feel like, you know, Zelda is not typically the kind of character he should lose to, but this ain't just any Zelda, this is Zero to None, who's definitely one of, probably still one of the best ones in the world, if we're not mistaken, so... If anybody can bring this back, it's him for sure. Look at that nice spot dodge just in time. Because, because he, uh, you can see Z, uh, ZTN almost perfectly spaced that. Uh, I, I don't know if that was a forward air or back air. Yeah, I mean, if you're not spacing your forward airs and back airs properly as Zelda, like, you know, baby, what is you doing? Like, if you'd be like, if, if you're, imagine being a Zelda player and you're just like, God, I just can't get the spacing down for, for, for Lightning Kick, I just don't know what to do. Like, it's so much bigger in this game, and quick as well. There you go. Like, if you can't yeah. be doing that, I mean, this is zero to none, so obviously he's not who, he's not who we're talking about here, but, you know. He is not uh, your average week one Zelda. No, definitely not. Oh my God, right off the top. This is looking like it might be a quick three stock if he keeps playing like this. I don't even know what percent that was that he died at. There was, like, no red lightning or anything. Like, 70. The, oh, dude, the game didn't think that was going to kill. 
Good gravy. I think I think Mega might have had like the hang on. I gotta use the bathroom DI. <laughs> Bro, I just said good gravy. <laughs> <laughs> you get good gravy every Tuesday when you come back from Jollibee's, right? Every yeah, Tuesday, he, this guy comes. Well, he, he comes with the best gravy. He literally brings Jollibee's to Kingdom like every Tuesday. The goat. Oh. Speaking of the GOAT, it's looking like 0 to none might be the GOAT right now, because that's a 3 yeah. stock, baby. That's a clean way to answer game number 2. This is a best of 3 territory, too, my friend, so if he keeps playing like that, I don't know if this is a... Yeah, might no, spell disaster for Mega. Yeah, no, after that... After that... That soul read that first game, ZTN woke up. Yeah. Definitely caught that, like, sleeping in my car, D.I. <laughs> I I love when people just open the door and they peek in. They're just like, no, and they just leave like right afterwards. You're like, oh, I don't, yeah, it's a, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Kind of look. Yeah. Go! All right, PS2 the whole time. Y'all are y'all already know this is Smash Ultimate, baby. Like we love this stage, especially here in Tri-State. Oh. Yeah. It's, uh, someone said PS2 makes the best games. It does. I really do still feel like it's probably like the most neutral stage in this game because I feel like triplats can be pretty polarizing depending on if you have ladder combos or if you're a sword character who can juggle on it re really easily. FD in longer stages like Town and City can like be like so polarizing to fight in against zoners and whatnot. PS2 is like the perfect length and also just very neutral platform layout that just really suits a lot of characters. Really, I mean, a lot. So don't get me wrong. Some characters are better on this stage than others, which is why you should still counter pick, but. Most people default here for a reason. Yeah, it's it, yeah this yeah this stage. I used to hate PS2. Yeah. And then I start and then I started to learn how to properly extend my combos. Nice. I actually always preferred PS1 at the very early meta of Ultimate, for one reason and one reason only. You want to know why that is? Stage geometry. No. It's because the platforms were lower and Mario's up tilt went through the platforms on that stage and not on PS2. <laughs> 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 so I'd be like, yo, can we go to PS1 instead? <laughs> and now, unfortunately, PS1 is not the one we play. No, the stage geometry was actually bad, because you couldn't see, like, underneath the stage at all when you went under there. Plus, it had that giant, like, rod or something under There was something wrong with it, which is why we didn't play on that one instead. But, thankfully, we had another Pokemon Stadium in the very same game, because yeah. of the Smash Ultimate. I wish they just brought every stage back, but, you know, they did what they could. I think it was just easier to modify Pokemon Stadium 2 since they... I think they brought it back in Smash Wii U. They did, I think. Yeah, they did. It is in that game. But obviously you can't turn hazards off, so we didn't play on it. I'm just saying, man, there were really cool stages that were stuck on the 3DS version and, like, cool stages that were stuck in the old, like, ones. Like, it was a Rainbow Road stage that was, like, Mute City where, like, you landed on, like, each individual part of it. And they never brought that stage yeah, back. Mario Kart 7 Rainbow Road, Pac Maze... What a sick parry and nothing. Because it's a projectile and you're on the other side of the level. And you're also Ike. Yeah, I was just... You beat me to it. I was going to say that, but I was pausing for a second. You completely beat me to that. Yeah, you know, parrying projectiles ain't always the best in a game like this, especially if you're playing, like, a slower character, you know? You know, parrying is so good up close, but it doesn't do nothing to projectiles, oh. so it's like, what's the point sometimes? And what does do things to Zelda is, like, blocking her that close. you you got to be careful when, like, pressing buttons against Zelda that close. Lightning kick way too fast. I had a feeling that Mega could have gotten the kill uh, Mega could have gotten the kill much earlier if he did uh, Ether out of shield. Maybe, but you know, like he would have had to like he would have had to like drift like either in or out to make sure he lands off of the platform to make sure he doesn't get lightning kick. Maybe he thought like the best way to not get lightning kick was to press like a button with fewer frames or something, but either way, you know, this is Zelda. Like that's Sort of the noob killery thing about her is that, like, you know, you feel like, oh, like, it's so hard to break her zone, but then once I'm in, like, it should be go time, right? Not always. Like, if you don't press a good button on her block, you're either gonna get, like, um, a beat out of shield. Or I can't pronounce that word. Don't even get me to try. Like, a Ferrars... Ferrars win. Ferrars win. Thank you. Naryu's love, or you're just more likely than not gonna get lightning kicked. That being said, though, we, we keep talking about how good Zelda is, but Mega is still up in this, st in this uh, game right now, if only by about... 40% this time around. 60, the 60 oh. yeah. It's got the 1-1-1 one, one, one going right now, though. Good instant grab off of the ledge, just like tomahawking, jumping right in front of him. Mega trying very hard to hold center stage, but not drifting far back enough to the point where the Phantom Knight could go out. Really trying to do a wonder on his spacing right there. 
That's another crazy thing about Zelda is that, like, once you, like, you know, you can't necessarily hold center stage against her like you can against a lot of other characters to get them to approach, because once you do, you know she's just going to be charging Phantom Knight out of the corner. Yeah. And you can't parry it or anything like that. Otherwise, she'll just be able to run in and, like, probably lightning kick you forward as well. That's why, like, you know, getting on a stage with platforms against Zelda is so, so, so important. Like, you, you'll you never see this character get counterpicked to FD unless you're, like, a psychopath. Unless you're... Yeah, unless you're a psychopath, or you play a character that benefits so much more than Zelda on FD. Maybe one with, like, multiple jumps. Yeah, you know, you know, like, not Ike. Yeah, ca like, I'd say, I'd say a character like Steve, obviously. Yeah, for sure. You know, because Steve can just, like, minecart at, like, that perfect height where I feel like Zelda won't even be able to answer to it. But that's Fighter's Pass 2 we're talking about, you know? Yeah. We only got on-cartridge characters out here instead. And that's the kick! Oh. And zero to oh, none man. takes it. <laughs> Unfortunate for Mega, but that is how the cookie crumbles, my friend. Yeah, it's just, it's just one of those sets. Yeah, I mean, Mega definitely, like, you know, woke up in game number three after getting three-stock game two, but, you know, it's just, like... I feel I feel like they both just achieved, like, they both just went Ultra Instinct that, that third game. I wouldn't call it Ultra Instinct. So, they were yeah. both playing real slow, but, like, real slow and steady pace to win the race, but I know what you mean. 